Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about American politics, and we are specifically going to talk about how the Republicans plan versus how the Democrats plan in this 2024 U.S. presidential election. Um, and uh, and I'm not going to bury the lead. I'm going to give you the summary of what of what we're talking about today. I've come to the realization that uh, Donald Trump's planned evil is far better for every American, and I'm ready to vote for it. I'm voting for evil, all right, over well-intentioned good of the Democrats. I actually think that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden actually meant to do good, right? They don't, they don't plan evil, right? The Republicans legit plan evil, right? Uh, I, I don't, I'm not pretending, right? They're, they're planning evil. There's no two ways about it. They got plans on both sides that are quite evil, in my humble opinion, right? Um, but that is far safer and far and builds a far better world than well-intentioned good, right, of the Democrats. And that's the issue is uh, the Democrats, uh, they, they intend peace, right? So like Biden and Kamala Harris have no, you know, Kamala Harris has no idea what to do with her Glock. I don't think she's ever touched it, right? I do believe it's in her house in a box. Doug carried it there for her. Right, but I don't think she she don't know what to do with that thing, right? Like, why do you never see a picture with her? Why do you never see her on the range? Right, that thing is collecting dust, right? And she sure as heck don't know what to do with the military. Nor did Biden, right? And so, and so, every tin pot dictator in the world is like, hey, we get four years of villainy, and that's what we got. And the world is on fire, and we're a centimeter away. Actually, Ryan Ryan Macbeth uh, has said we're already in World War Three, and I think that's I think that's correct. I think we are in World War III right now, right? And you say, oh, oh no, Scott, we're not. <laughs> hey, do you, are you aware there are boots that we were dollars on the ground in Israel? We're boots on the ground. They are sending a um, an anti-military piece of hardware that will be staffed by American soldiers. We're boots on the ground in Israel. Uh, it's either already happened or it's about to happen. It's all, you know. And so, like, we're in World War III right now, right? And so this is the issue. Uh, Democrats don't have any plans for anything, right? Or, well, their plans are so terrible. What was their plan for this election? Literally to squeeze through with, uh, and, and hope no one, their plan, this is not a joke. Their plan was to hope that no one in the media or in the public would notice that Joe Biden couldn't speak sentences or understand any questions that were asked of him. What kind of plan is that, right? Whereas, oh, oh my gosh, Donald Trump, he's got a plan to win, right? He is, and his people have a plan to win, and they got plans if they lose. If Kamala Harris wins, it's just a bump in the road. It's where Trump starts, right? Kamala Harris winning the election will not be a problem for Donald Trump. The Republicans, the Trumpers, and Donald Trump have very specific plans if Kamala Harris wins. I can tell you that right now, right? And it's it's going to be ugly. It is going to be ugly. Be prepared, right? It, yeah, it, be prepared. Whew. All right. And so this is it. So it would make sense that I would not want to vote for evil, right? But we're in a world that's upside down, right? And the reality is I'm far more terrified of Kamala Harris's good intentions than I am Donald Trump's evil plan. I do think he has an evil plan to become president, even if Kamala Harris wins. He also had a plan to win outright. The Democrats, and especially Kamala Harris, and everybody's like, oh, you should be worried because Donald Trump has a plan to win and a plan if he loses. I'm worried about a candidate, a candidate that doesn't have a plan to win or a plan to lose right? Kamala Harris certainly doesn't have a plan if she loses. She doesn't even have a plan to win. Opportunity economy? Are you joking? It's gotta be a joke because it sure is funny, right? Like, yeah, opportunity economy. Hey, everybody, I'm Kamala Harris and drowned in, in taxation and regulation, you'll be able to sell apples. No, no one will be able to have an opportunity to do anything in a Kamala Harris economy. And that's the issue, right? Like they're planning an opportunity economy that will not manifest in any way or supply opportunity to anyone, right? But legit, the Republicans do have plans. Those plans are for evil, right? But plans for evil 
shockingly turn out to be far less dangerous to every American, right, than well-intentioned good of, of the Democrats, right? So that's why I'm eager. I'm eager to vote for Donald Trump, and I cannot wait to see Kamala Harris get beat. And I will. I do have one thing that should calm you down. Kamala Harris does not have any, any chance to win. So they're, they're, so the super evil plan of Donald Trump, if he loses, I don't think it's going to get put into place, in my humble opinion. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking and subscribing and have a fetch millennium.